Hey, how's it going? On July 16th and 17th, 2024, I bought... Actually, on July 17th, I bought several items. They were during the Prime Days, Amazon Prime Days, which were July 16th and 17th. Now, the 16th, I just did window shopping, you know, just looking to see what was available and everything. And But on the 17th, I bought 10 items I think and I'm gonna show you those now uh, not everything was on sale because sometimes I actually need items well I would like to say that I needed all of these items but that that would be lying <laughs> so this one yes this one I did okay this is the first one I'm gonna show you because I have to hook it up it has the red light on I have it plugged in I don't have this one plugged into the camera yet and it's upside down and that's how it appears when I hang it over there uh, but that's okay because this camera the Sony Handycam is technically upside down so and then I just kind of uh, turn it around I do a 180 degree uh, rotation when I'm in editing and so this is perfect it sets it up perfectly for me that's weird <laughs> okay so this gets plugged into it has an HDMI it has a little port here for the plug this plug and this plug this is an HDMI cable a regular jobby here and a mini on this side which goes into the mini port in my on my camera Okay, this one goes in here. So we have the HDMI, and this one also has plugs I don't use. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Headphones, AV. I can't read upside down. What's that say? OSO. Really? Controller. Oh, OSD controller, USB upgrade. Oh. I think it came with that. I'm not sure. I'll have to check to see if there's an upgrade. Okay, then it looks normally like this, and it has the different modes and forward and backward menu. This is a little bit different. This is the power button here. A little bit different than the old one, even though it's the same brand. So the old one, this one is the newer F. 100 I think it is HD camera monitor let's see if it has oh yeah F100 the old one is this one F200 and the reason I'm replacing it is because in the middle of the old screen right there like right in the middle is this purple spot that will not go away it's like a light purple maybe lavender colored and it was kind of freaking me out you know I was like What's that on my paper? And I think I said that on camera a couple of times. And I was just like, uh, that's on the screen. That's on the behind the monitor. That's behind the screen. So here's the old one. This is the old one. And I had it set up the same way. The cables, the HDMI cable and the, and the outlet cable or the AC-DC cable. The, what's it called? AC cable? <laughs> Uh, that I ordered separately and that's a different brand and what I I thought maybe I I thought this one was a feel world brand and I didn't check but that's okay I didn't check and I bought this one so this one is the 200 and I'm turn it over it has a battery pack here F200 has nearly the same has a USB upgrade has AV out headphone AV in so slightly different plugins there and then the HDMI and then the power uh, oh DC 12 volt <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is yeah I'm not uh, <laughs> the terminology I'm telling my jargonitis is acting up if for the F100 I get that the audio cables I think that's the end. and also the HDMI oh yeah I do get the HDMI cable 
but I'm using the old one. And I could have sworn this was a different brand HDMI cable. I'll have to go back into my Amazon stuff. Uh, it has this, which I don't use. This is a mount because both of these have the camera mount, the little port there for the camera mount. And then, let's see, this one also comes with, oh, an Allen wrench. Wow, that is super lightweight. Uh, I don't know if I would trust it. <laughs> but that was this one. It has that. Where, <laughs> where does this go? What do I use this for? Do I read directions? No. <laughs> I don't have to read the directions for this one because... It's the same thing, basically. It's just a different model number. And this one also comes with the charging jobby for the battery. And it comes with a battery, so it goes in just a minute. Don't touch those points, or these points. <laughs> it goes in like this. Honest, I, honestly, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, you're really not going to go in for me? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Usually it just slides right in, but... Oh, I can take this little cable. This little... Oh, no, maybe I can't. <laughs> the little... There's a thing here. There's like a little film over there. I guess I'm not going to remove that. <laughs> uh, usually, if you see the film, take it off. Like, so right... Okay, so it takes a micro USB cord, and I think, ooh, why do I have two cables? <laughs> why do I have two cables? I'm thinking this is probably from the old one, maybe? This is the, maybe this is the old box. Wait, didn't I just read? No, F100. This is the F100. Does it say on here? Not that I can read. Readily read. No. It does, does it say it? No. That's weird. It doesn't even say it on the front there. But this one, this one says it here. F200. Okay, so this might be from this one, which means I did buy the HDMI cable separately. Uh, I, I can't even explain it. Why would they give me two? Because they're generous? <laughs> okay, this is the battery. I think it's the battery one. This is the battery cable, and it has a USB connection. And you plug it in like, like, like that, and then plug it in down below and let it charge. But because I have a DC volt cable, I don't have to put the battery in. I don't have to attach the battery to either of these monitors. So this is a just in case, and I also have. I also have multiple batteries for these monitors and I bought those when I bought this one before I bought the DC volt cable. I thought, oh, let me get, let me stock up because I know I'm going to need it. Sometimes my videos are long. Okay, a lot of times they're long. <laughs> I admit it. Look at the last one, uh, the Craft Supplies Organizer Part 3. Is over an hour long and <laughs> okay getting back to it I don't want to get distracted this is a shield a guard right and for if I take it outside I take the monitor outside or something like that I don't take it outside I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna put this on here interesting <laughs> I'm just like okay um, but that, it, it comes with a lot. Now, 
you can I think you can buy just the monitor without all those little bells and whistles and stuff like the HDMI cable and the battery I think it comes with a battery but as far as the charging thing that might not be one of it that might be a bell and whistle <laughs> that might not be included if you just buy the monitor that's what I'm saying okay one thing I want to note about the Neewer is I bought it for uh, $107.19 and now it sells for $134.04 so that was a Prime Day deal apparently. <laughs> also the monitor is a 7 inch monitor so I forgot to mention that. That's important because the screen panel that the Sony Handycam has, I think, is either three or three and a half inches, which is very, very small for me. So the field monitor is it's very clear and it helps me see if I'm in position for my craft or on my swatching videos. And this is perfect. Also, there's no little purple dot in the middle of the screen yay but when I first got the the F200 I don't even know what I paid for that one uh, bought that several years ago uh, that did not have that little purple dot and then suddenly it appeared so it's I think it's called like a pixel perhaps like burned in <laughs> That's, I don't know. Okay, the next two items are actually exactly the same, but they're two different companies. And I didn't really think or know, really, that they came from the same manufacturer until last night when I charged all of these up. One of the monitor, one of these lights is underneath the rail, underneath the rail on my stairs. And that's what I bought these for. I bought them to put, I wanted to put like one further up the, the rail or up the stairs and then the other, another one uh, down lower. Now I, I do have a light on the wall, electric light, <laughs> controlled by a switch. Uh, but that one is way up high and I was thinking, how am I going to change that bulb when it eventually goes out? So far, it hasn't gone out yet. And I'll talk about that too a little bit later on because I did buy something to help with that. And I buy, bought that on uh, Prime, Prime Day, and it was, mm -mm -mm. oh, it was less expensive than what it's selling for now. So it was a Prime deal. Okay, so these are uh, motion sensor under cabinet lights. They're eight inches long, since I have them all charged up. Uh, they all look like this, including these two. This one is by Bright Ever, a three pack, and this is a two pack by Bowie Bozix. <laughs> That's the best I can pronounce that, right? So we have from the third one, I'm just going to put this underneath because I know this, I think it comes from, I don't know anymore. <laughs> so I'm looking at these and I'm thinking, these are exactly the same. And they come with a film. I took the film off, but they all come with a film on the light here. And this, this thing right here, this is magnetic magnetic and they come with this little sticker I don't know if it'll mess up my camera if I <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that off I put them all on the back but they they come on the front here or probably like that and they are on top of that little film it's it's instructions on how to turn them on so on quick prints once auto quick press again the light will flash twice off quick press the third time then to switch color so that's the power button then the the light button switch color quick press dim hold press to dim other turned on does that say other oh <laughs> i can't read 
to dim after turned on. Oh, I forgot to do that with the... I just got done charging that one light. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so we have... Let's see if I can remember. I'm going to put my directions... <laughs> Not that I can read them. Okay, so power on. Ooh, bright. And then that is set. And it should... It should turn on. <laughs> it should be on. How come not on? Maybe I'll just wait. Ooh, okay, now it's on. Now that's weird. So let me wait. Also, the other one is this one. Is Amber, did you see that? You can't really tell. Like... Okay, you can tell that's kind of like fluorescent. That's the cool light. And then that's the amber light. You can't really tell that, though. Not on... <laughs> from what I can see, you can kind of see in the... The handy cam is much better. Oh, yeah. There's a big difference there. Okay. And then... Press to dim. Long press to dim. It's not dimming. Okay, so long press to dim, and then long press again to increase brightness. So, oh yeah, that's nice. And you can see it increasing in brightness. That's about the, about nice. Now, the problem that I have with these is the batteries don't last as long. And it's also, I have it right now in the center of the railing. And these are actually very good. They're sticky. Pull off this little cover. And this is very, very sticky here. Right? This is not magnetic. But it, it works here, of course. <laughs> it works here. Okay, so I'm going to take this off right here. Let's see if this stops if I if I don't do anything. It turns off after several seconds. Let me see. It's it's sensor affected, not voice affected. I don't know if it's going to turn off. There you go. Several seconds. Now, it's supposed to... Okay. So that's weird. The sensor is here. This is the sensor. Right there. <laughs> but, it's this seems like maybe the sensor is here instead of this ball. And... I have... I also have 6 inch lights about the same width... What is this? An inch and a half, an inch and a half wide, and maybe not quite a half inch thick. Pretty narrow, they're pretty thin. Uh, I have six inch ones, and I went back into Amazon to see if I could find them, but they are no longer available on Amazon's site, which is a bummer because those were four packs. And I have those all over the place. I have one in the bathroom downstairs, one upstairs, and they come in very, very handy when the power goes out. So when the power goes out, like we had in, oh, what was it, uh, February 2021, we had the big power outage. Those, uh, those are also magnetic underneath here. And what I did was the light fixture in the bathroom has a metal plate. The light bulbs are screwed into like a metal plate and I magnet stick to it. So I was able to just plop it up there and it was on sensor. And when, as soon as I walked into the bathroom, that light came on. Perfect. It's perfect. And so that is indispensable to me, those little six inch ones. I paid $9.47 on Prime Day and they now sell for 
uh, 13, well, the list price is $13.99, and they are currently $9.99 uh, with a 29% off. Okay, the next item, is it, this is not necessarily a need, <laughs> uh, but it's a pair of headphones by Sony Alt. What's it called? Sony Altwear noise canceling wireless headphones, which can also be wired, by the way, and that cable is included. It opens like this. It's been a while. I haven't played with these in a while. Has a case. Sony on the top there, and this is Sony headphone case for dummies. <laughs> It has this, you take these out, and it shows you how to put them back in, basically. <laughs> That's what I like. And then has the, the cable, I've already tried it out, it works great. I had it plugged in, I actually had it plugged into my Bose speakers, connected to my computer, and I watch YouTube videos with it plugged in, and it is awesome. It fits great, it's over ear, I, I like over ear stuff has the cushion very soft on the ears. It's not extremely heavy. It's, I wouldn't say that it's lightweight. After a while, it does get to be a pain, but it's not heavy. It's maybe medium, medium weight would that be? And it has the charging ports here. It doesn't, also here it says left, right, you know, like left, right. So what I've discovered is that when I put, like this is the left ear, right? I don't like to put these left to right. Oh, you can see a little speakers in there. Um, I like to do it this side on the right because the plug-in cable for the, for the computer speakers is here on the left. I don't want it to be on the left. I want it to be on the right. And that's so, you know, because, well, fortunately, this cable is long enough. It's also a very thin, thin cable. That worries me a little. <laughs> but these are actually pretty good. I'm not going to demonstrate the sound for you. Usually I do, but, man, that takes up a lot of time. It also has the... The charging, look how tiny this charging cable is. What is this cable? Wait. This cable is roughly almost nine inches long. <laughs> nine inch long cable. It's very tiny. Tiny, Sony. Like, <laughs> I have to. I probably wouldn't use this one anyway. Uh, because I have another cable that's extremely long that I can plug, you know, charge these with. Uh, it is USB-C, USB-A, USB-C. So you just put them in like that, and you can take them with you. The only downside to the case is there's no handle. So ideally, a handle would be great here, Sony. <laughs> a handle. The case is compact, even. You know, that's pretty, pretty narrow. It also comes with the documentation. The, this is a free trial, 360 Reality Audio, and I'm not going to get that, but you need an app, the Sony app for this one. Uh, I plugged it in, I tried to pair it, and it says, you need an app. So, you know, I went into the store and I got it. It is free, and it allows you to set the how you want it, bass, treble, all that jazz. Not too bad. And it's got a little manual and a limited warranty. All that lovely stuff. Okay, next item. Oh, so this one, uh, I paid $158 for it. And right now, it's, uh, it's the list price is $199.99. And that it's it is on sale. It's eleven percent off right now, so it's selling for one hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Okay, the next two items are were not prime deal. These were not on sale. I just needed these. These are four-gallon 
trash bags and by glad drawstring and this one came in first sweet citron and lime and this does not to me have a pleasant smell so <laughs> i mean yeah it has a smell to it a scent but it's not a scent that i particularly like i thought i would i thought oh sweet citron and lime that should smell awesome right no lemon and lime but i do need i have two four gallon trash cans one in the uh, downstairs bathroom one in the upstairs bathroom and i when i bought those on amazon they have like a touch lid and then it opens and then you i really like them and they they didn't come with a set of bags they're plastic uh i no, I was going to say maybe I'll link them, but I'm not sure I'm going to remember to link them. Maybe I will. Who knows? Uh, but they need bags. And these, um, somebody actually showed these in a ba in a trash bag, a trash can, just like that. I was like, oh, they are going to fit. But where I'm using this one, I'm actually using this one for, uh, for litter box cleaning. It's perfect for litter box cleaning. <laughs> Okay, so the sweet uh, sweet citron and lime is there are thirty four bags in each box. This one is eighteen inches long. That's eighteen inches long, and is it eighteen by eighteen? Let's see. 18 by about 17 a little over 17 and a half inches long so almost square not quite there the only problem I have with these is they are not very strong but a four gallon bag is usually meant for waste baskets say in the bathroom you know something small and four gallon doesn't hold very much holds four gallons <laughs> and it's not like a kitchen trash bag which is a 13 gallon one but uh, these these are very they tear very easily so with that you have to keep that in mind as well so this one I use for litter box cleaning because I'm not crazy about the smell but it does a very good job of hiding the used cat litter smell so that's what I'll be using those for. This one is Beachside Breeze, and this smells much, much, much better. And it has a blue bag. It has like a little little hole here that you can take a sniff before you buy them in the store. And this one too has it on the like a lime slice there. And this one I will use. I might buy another one of these. Same scent. They have different scents and all, uh, but I, I think they only had this one available and this one available. So these also measure the same. They should measure the same. 18 inches. Uh, you can't see that other side there, but I can do it. There. <laughs> By... A little over 17 and a half inches a little just a little maybe an eighth of an inch over I like the smell of these these are great so these will not be used for litter <laughs> litter pickup okay. is there anything else I need to tell you about these before I get to my next item because usually I don't remember until after they were not on sale I think I said that so the uh, sweet citron and lime cost eight dollars and thirty three cents and you can probably buy them cheaper in the grocery store if you can find them i'll have to check next time i'm at heb i'll have to see if they have them and then this one cost six dollars and forty nine cents this one this one was delivered you know in two days time this one took like a week and a half to get to me and I was like oh sure save the best right <laughs> save the best for last I guess I don't know <laughs> the next item 
is this one which is a two pack of headlamps by Le Pro LE Le Pro okay LE two pieces LED headlamp and th this one I haven't charged that one yet but I did charge this one and I started using it and I've already had to create a hack for it this is foam it's thick foam it's like maybe an eighth of an inch ish maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch but what I had to do was create an adhesive uh, adhesive foam or self stick foam <laughs> and put it here because this goes on my forehead so when I first tried this out it hurt my head because I didn't have that soft well it's not really super soft <laughs> but it's soft and once I put that on it changed changed the tune right away you know it's like wow that is great so this has a light bright ultra bright like super bright and then it has this kind of on the sides here and the middle is not lit up although it's kind of hard to see okay the middle is not lit up okay so we have also has red flashing red and green and off like that for the middle ultra bright regular without the, the middle being lit although it is kind of hard to tell right and off so this is for the red and then the flashing red and green and this is just for this in the middle and then on the outside it's not really that bright and you know um i have two reasons for getting this or this two pack rather um one it was on sale <laughs> It was on sale. It cost uh, fifteen dollars and eighteen cents on Prime Day, and it sells for twenty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Right now, it's seventeen percent off and selling for eighteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. Hopefully, that sale will still be in uh, available when this airs on July something, July eleventh. <laughs> I mean, August 11th. Let's go back in time. Um, but I use I don't use it. Use this part. I use this. I use this one. This last one. It's not. Uh, it also it's adjustable. It's not super bright, but it is doing the job, and it has that adjustment to it. The battery is in this part right here, which is what I like. It's not super heavy or anything like that. It has an elastic band, and you can adjust it as well. And, like I said, it has a two-pad. And it is charged via something, via this cord right here. Uh, micro USB on one end, and USB-A on the other end. Wow. I've also bought another another headlamp by a different company and it's a different style than this. Okay, this is by Victoper model V8000 and it is also a headlamp. It has uh, 18,000 oh, 18,000 lumens. So what does this have as far as lumens go? Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. This has 6500 to 7500 lumens it's ipx4 as far as waterproof goes it's not really waterproof uh five volt one amp five watt yeah so it has uh 15 000 hours oh it's good for 15 000 hours not in a row <laughs> not before you have to charge by the way i haven't yet ha had the need to charge it this one is I'm thinking I should not have bought this one because this one has a kind of a hefty battery pack here 
and the cable to connect it and oh, it goes this way this goes over your head on top of your head right and then this goes around and it's all elasticized that's good and one one reviewer on Amazon said that he or she wears a baseball cap backwards so that this can rest on the bill of that cap and I thought man that's a great idea but I don't want to wear a baseball cap this one I put it on it it did seem a little bit on the heavy side okay so we have the following lights let's see this is probably oh we have that just these two Okay, so we have two lights here, right? And so that, this one button right here controls that. Okay, and then lower, it's lower. Oh, it's, it's vibrant. <laughs> it, it's, it's a solid light. It's not like it shows there, like it's vibrating. It's not at all. And then off. Red. And flashing. So this is... If you wait, then you put it on this one to maybe have it lower, right? That's weird. Uh, and then hit it again, it'll turn off. Oh, no, it turns this to red. If you wait too long and you hit that a third time, it doesn't turn red. It turns off like I showed before. Okay, this one is for these lights and probably this one. Okay, so we have two lights here. Let's see, how can I... How can I show that to you? Like, maybe that way? And this might turn it off. <laughs> see, like that, wait too long, turn it off. Okay, then we have these two lights, outer lights here that are lit, but the middle ones are not. And then you have all of the lights on except for these two lights here that you can't see oh there we go so these yellow ones are not on at that point okay so we have that just those two metal up, up and down top and bottom i guess and then left and right and then all of them and then whew, flashing <laughs> but if you wait a long time so, say I wait like this. Ooh, that is pretty bright. I need to wash my curtain. <laughs> then, if you wait long enough, it turns it off again. But if you keep going through it, then you're going to have that, <laughs> the whole sequence. And the same thing goes with this one. If you keep this on, this is not very bright. I can see it on the curtain, but it's not super bright like the other switch shows. And hopefully, have I waited long enough? We can listen to the dog sing. He's quite excited. And then turn it off. So the instructions probably say something like that. I don't even know. This can this can get hot, so it says when the light has been used for an extended period and becomes very hot, turn it off. Once the temperature falls, flip the switch on again. This practice will not only help to extend the longevity of the LED and battery, but also ensure proper cooling. 30 watt, working voltage is 3.7 volts, battery capacity is 5000 mAh. Oh, I should check the other one. Uh, charging time is three to five hours. Charging directly with USB cable. There is a, when you, when I put the batteries in, let's see if I can open it. Easy. So these are, each of these batteries are wrapped and you have to remove the wrapping from the batteries and then, so they're, they're in there, but they're wrapped but they're not going to work. So you just pull them out and you unwrap them and put them back in. And they go in the same direction, which I find strange, but that's the way it is. They're, they look like giant double A batteries, but they're lithium ion, I believe, rechargeable. 
Okay. Oh, it does come with clips and the uh, C, it charges C cable, USB A to USB C, and it comes with clips. I think it's these. And I looked at this and I'm thinking, why? Why are there clips? If I had a hard hat, <laughs> the dog thinks that's hilarious too. If I had a hard hat, I could clip this onto my hard hat. And I'm thinking, I probably should not have bought this. So it, uh, when it's charging, it's a red light. And when it's fully charged, it shows a green light. So I thought, oh, wow, what can I use these for? What kind of crafting, hacking, crafty hacking can I do with these clips? Because <laughs> I'm not going to go buy a hard hat. So I will try to use this. I think when I wore it, uh, I did adjust it so it fits my head. Uh, I, d I couldn't use it for very long. And despite all these lights, it doesn't seem as bright as this one which has fewer lights go figure right let's show you know i thought oh i'm gonna get these another a good reason to have these on hand is if i need to do anything in my computer so i do need to open up my computer and clean it that should be fun uh and these will provide you know enough lighting for me to see and not have to hold the flashlight on one hand and try and do things with another hand you know if i had three or four hands that would be great but <laughs> i don't okay the the victoper headlamp the one with the battery pack in the back and all the lights in the front that one cost nine dollars and 98 cents on july 17th prime day and now it sells for $23.99. That was the list price. But that one also has a sale 42% off. So now it's selling for $13.98. So I paid two cents, two pennies shy of $10. And it's selling for $13.98 right now. And the LaPro one, did I say that one? That one I paid $15.18 for. That's a two-pack. That's a pretty good deal, actually. Uh, and list price is $22.99, and it has 17% off right now, selling for $18.99. Right now. Okay, the next item is... The next two items are, are poles. <laughs> P-O-L-E-S. Okay. This one may be a little dirty because I, I used it already, as you can see. <laughs> Just a little dirty. Okay, this one comes with this. And this one, this one, this one. And this one is also dirty. That And I, I apologize for not cleaning it. But just to give you an idea, like... <laughs> that it works so this one has a, a long pole that extends out you know I might have to get the website up this is called this is by O-N-E-W-L-Y o -N -E -W -L -Y. shower scrubber with long handle it extends from 24 inches to 53 inches so yeah this is pretty long and let's see I don't think it's at the, or maybe it is. <laughs> it has, so uh, it just has three, the, the pole comes in three parts that you screw together, and it has this end, so you can lift up. This is, uh, oh, does. what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, this, what you do is you put this on, right? This part right here, the plastic one, which is why you don't take it off. And then you pull this up. And I'm going to put the clean one on. <laughs> and you put this on. Oh, I have an inspection. 
<laughs> inspection sticker on my arm and it goes like that like that right and i actually did not buy this for my shower oh this one oh, okay so i have to this one comes off i'm really surprised i got that off so easily and this one goes on and this is for scrubbing so i might use it for the shower and you uh oh no <laughs> Okay, it's a little tricky. You have to, instead of pushing down, or you have to lift it up to, you have to lift this up for it to come out like that. Okay, then oh, it has a, you can lock it in place. So if you need it that way, you just push that up. Or that way. No. That way. Or flat. So it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't wiggle around. <laughs> I'm a little challenged today. Okay, so what I did was also, since this is kind of Velcro y, I have these right here. And I, what I did was I put, I think I put it this way. All right. As you can see, I oh, I probably put it this way, right? And then I kind of tucked it underneath here. And I can't imagine that. Not, no, I think I did it like this. And I cleaned the counter, <laughs> my kitchen counter with this one. Uh, so the first one I did was this one. And I got all kinds of cat gunk off the counter and... The counter is really long and so this one enables me to stand in one place and just get everything done and not have to walk around like a I'm so lazy <laughs> also the I just point out that the gray does not does not stick as well it's the white that you have to and it took me a while <laughs> I was like how can that's not sticking? Because I wanted to use the white, but no, the white is the part that sticks. The gray is the part that scrubs. And this is kind of rough, kind of rough. Uh, this is very rough, so I would not use this on my counter. I might use it in the bathtub. That would be good for that. And then this for maybe buffing or something, or if I had glass doors on the shower, instead of a curtain, I would probably use this to clean the the door. The O'Neilly shower scrubber with the extendable handle is right now, okay, what I paid for it was $11.35. That's not bad, actually. And the list price is $14.99, and that's also not bad, considering uh, the different things you get, and that really long handle, and, but the, this one is 7% off now, so it's currently selling for $13.99, and it has a 20% 20 20 off coupon, so now... It is cheaper than what I paid for it, $11.19. Wow. Okay, the, the last item, kind of the last item, is this light bulb changer with this ginormous pole. Okay, so this one is Buy Plus Light Bulb Pole Changer. It is... I paid $55.99 for it on Prime Day, and it currently sells for, uh, or the list price is $63.98, and there's, um, but you can get it right now for $59.98, 6% off. Now, I, I realize when I say all these things, it sounds like I'm sponsored or affiliate, I have affiliate links. I don't. I have neither. I am not sponsored by any of these products, and, um... Uh, or companies and I don't have affiliate links at least not yet okay I have to talk about this thing right here so when this came I was excited because 
now I was thinking, now I can change that bulb in the hallway and I don't need those under cabinet lights that I still plan to use, by the way. I'm using them now. <laughs> um, until I took a good old look at this, this part. By plus 18 foot <laughs> reach light bulb changer for high ceilings with 3 to 12 foot telescopic extension pole. Easy flip tab lock bulb changing pole extension with basket and suction cup for recess light. And then it also came with this thing that people say is awful. This is the suction cup one. Like, I don't even, I haven't even, I'm not going to use this. <laughs> People say, don't use this because the suction cup is horrible. So I'm thinking, no problem. I don't have that kind of lighting anyway. So maybe I can think of a crafty hat for this. Who knows? So I'm looking at this. I look at this more carefully. Let's see, see if you can see. What does that look like? This silver part here. Sorry for the blur. And then pay very close attention to this. You can kind of right there. Okay, you see that? You see that? Uh huh. I saw that and I was like, oh, this is not going to work at all. I I am gonna break my light bulb trying to put it in there. So apparently it's it's a spring, right? And it should expand when you put your bulb in there. It's not just for the curly Q ones. And I thought it's never going to work. So I have this cup here. And I decided to push down on this. And when I did, this popped off. Oh, sure. Now you're not going to do it. This popped off. There. Easy peasy. Like, and I actually hurt my hand a little bit, you know, because this one. And I thought, oh, that is never going to work. I don't dare put an a bigger trying to put a bigger light bulb like a standard style light bulb which is now like I have like those LED ones that have a plastic bulb that fits over that one right uh, that will still break because it's just plastic so and then it has these rubber rubber slider things you can slide up the rubber things here were down of course now I can't do it. They were down here and I moved them all the way up up here in case I decide to use it for a curly cube bulb, which I think is the light bulb currently in in that <laughs> in that fixture. Um, so it has this. Take this off, all right? Okay. It screws in and then tightens with this little screw, right? Okay. Yep. And I thought, no, I am not going to be able to use that. That scares me. And so, so I had to go to Amazon and see if I could find a replacement for it. So I went online and I found this. I know it's just the documentation. Stauber, is it? Or Stauber gripper plus large suction. Oh, I didn't get the, the suction one. All I got was the gripper. Okay, that one. I put it in this handy dandy bag that makes a lot of noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I have not tried this one out. <laughs> so this could be a long, 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 long video. I mean, I'll just show you the finished part. Whatever. It's got these uh, so-called non-slip grips. This is plastic. But people were saying, this is great. So I think I'm going to, uh, oh, I think it goes this way. And you're supposed to be able to push it in. I have no idea. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So either way, I was thinking, oh no, that's not going to be good at all. Okay. okay so this has a, a nut. <laughs> I like that nut better. It goes all the way in or all the way out. 
so you can measure the bulb that you have and set it however you want it you know and there we have it and it even has these little ledges to prevent the bulb from sliding down right I'm now I'm excited to change it and this this pole by the way it has a very it's very sturdy very I I recommend just getting the pole you might be able to just get the pole oh no maybe not but I did it did have a prime deal to it and but this is no no uh, -uh. also comes with this the pole it's well the price is worth the pole is worth the price I think which was what what did I say 55 yeah that is super sturdy and even when I stretched it all the way out to its maximum 12 foot length it was it was still straight up and down no wobbling no bending nothing at the you know at the so-called weakest point here which would be this one right <laughs> No, these are very good poles. Very good pole. The attachments, not so much. And these are, you can uh, type in light bulb changer, pole, or something like that. And you can find a whole mess of these that look exactly alike with this, the suction cup, and the big recess lighting. But I didn't get, I didn't get this one. I got this, this, and the pole, but not this one. I'm thinking, am I supposed to get that one? Because people are showing that they got it, both all of these things. So, but I like I said, I really don't need that recess lighting one, so that's good. And it tells you how to hold it so you don't pinch your fingers when you're putting the pole back to its, uh, what did it say it was, three feet length. So even the Buy Plus is on sale. If you can just get the pole or look around, even it doesn't have to be the Buy Plus brand. And just get the pole if, if you need a nice sturdy pole. And it's got that standard screw on part there, the threaded part. Uh, people, I think people have even tried using a broom handle, you know. Standard. The, the Stauber one will fit on a standard broom handle that has that threaded area. So that's good. That, oh, that one costs $19.83. I bought it after the Prime Days, and that's what it's currently selling as, uh, uh, or for $19.83. That's all I have for you. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have an amazing day. Bye.